If you are not, welcome back. Hugs, bougie kiss, mwah, bougie kiss, mwah. You already know what I'm about to say before we even jump into the video. Let's get it out the way right now. If you would like manifestation coaching with yours truly or anything else that I offer, feel free to check out www.lawofassumptionprincess.com. I updated a bit. I also updated the disclaimer. So always be sure to read that disclaimer in full. It helps you out. It helps me out. And it just makes every single thing easier for the both of us thank you Mwah. love you okay y'all this is gonna be a pretty chill and laid back video just because this is something that i have been wanting to sink my teeth into and i think that is something that a lot of people really need to hear i want y'all to get well acquainted and well adjusted with the concept and the understanding that everything is serving you living my life by this principle has really saved me it has saved me time it has saved me stress it has saved me headaches it has saved me breakdown once i started to relax into this understanding that everything is serving me my life seemed like everything was moving on autopilot because i'm gonna be just transparent and honest with y'all when i first started my law of assumption journey i had this mindset of wanting to fix everything anything that came into my experience that was even merely like remotely seemingly um negative want need burning desire to try to fix it because i thought that if i was experiencing something that was negative in any capacity that i was doing something wrong that i must not have been understanding the real concept of manifestation and the actual essence and true principle of it and i just was always on this upward battle this uphill battle of trying to dismantle anything i didn't like and i have since now changed my disposition and my point of view when it comes to that because now i'm to the point where i'm understanding it's not about the circumstances themselves like even if something negative was to come into my awareness and was to come into my perception it is up to me it is up to me to dismantle that circumstance by changing the way that i see it i was so focused on changing the 3d-ness of it all meaning i was trying to take any action that i could take i was trying to do anything that i could do so that this thing could go away and once that thing went away i then felt comfortable i then felt in control i then felt powerful but i wasn't realizing that was me still putting stipulations on my power because the way that you change yourself and the world around you is by changing your perception. I tell y'all this all the time. I will never, ever, 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 ever get tired of repeating myself. I don't care how many times it is because we need to hear this information again and again and again and again until it sinks deep into our skulls and it just becomes second nature. So it's all about your perception. And that is something that in the beginning I wasn't really realizing. That's also why I talk a lot about navigating your emotions and allowing you guys to understand understand it's okay to feel because feeling and being sad doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong i was once of that belief as well so in the beginning phases of me applying the law to my life i was doing great i was understanding certain concepts of it. i was understanding certain parts of it the important parts of it right but i wasn't understanding the real the really odilio i wasn't understanding the really odilio which is getting to the point where you understand that nothing really actually can come against you because everything serves you because everything propels you forward because everything blesses you and it wasn't until i got into that state until i got into that true understanding that i realized I don't have to fight against all these things. I don't even have to try to actively change anything in the 3D. What I have to do is go within and change the way that I'm perceiving things. So even when it came to circumstances, let's say something unfavorable was going on in my reality, right? Instead of trying to change the unfavorable, 
what I started to do was change the meaning that I was assigning it. And I'm sure that I have a video talking about that in depth on this channel somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have a video, something about change the meaning of, I don't know what it could be titled. I don't know, damn it. But I know I've talked about it, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but I started changing the meaning that I was assigning to the circumstances because I could never really get into the flipping thoughts. Like that just felt like too much work for me. It felt like too much of a game of tug of war because you have 40 to 60,000 thoughts a day. Like how could any human being possibly spend their day flipping thoughts? So instead of flipping thoughts, even if the thought was something I perceived as negative, I assigned it a different meaning. So instead of saying, oh, that was a negative thought and that is something that's going to come against me and that's something that's going to slow me down, I would say, oh, okay, that's a thought that I didn't love, but that just means that it's working to my benefit, it's working in my favor, it's here to serve me. I just, even if I couldn't get myself to say that it was working in my favor, I would say it's here to serve me. That statement in itself was general yet powerful enough to get me out of a victim state. OK, so this is why I'm telling y'all this information, because if you use the understanding of everything in your experience is here to serve you, nothing is here to bully you. Nothing is coming against you. There isn't some entity in the sky pulling strings, making sure things don't go your way. It's all your perception It's all how you're choosing to view something. That is where the power lies. Even on days where I don't have the highest energy, where I'm in a lower energy, I feel sad. I want to have a day where I just seclude myself. I, I just want to be alone. I don't view that as anything but something that is coming to serve me. Because honestly, those days are helpful. Those days are needed. There are going to be times where you might just want to be alone, just to reset, just to feel, just to have a moment. And guess what? There's nothing wrong with that. If anything, that is benefiting you and serving you because it's giving you time to decompress. It's giving you time to go within. And even if you cry, even if you show emotion, if you bring that to the forefront, all you're doing is making space for the emotions that you actually would rather have and experience. Crying is but a release. It's but a release. It is healthy. It is beneficial do it and guess what all in all it serves you crying does serve you it does it's as simple as that it pushes you forward it propels you forward the reason that living by this principle has helped me so much is because i am not focused on the minute insignificant parts of the 3d like i was two and a half three years ago I don't even worry about it because I have defaulted to the belief of knowing and understanding every single thing in my experience. It doesn't matter what it is. It's here to benefit and serve me. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Every single thing that I am experiencing is here to usher me into my desired reality, into my desired version of self, into my desired and into my desire. I don't take anything as a threat anymore. I feel emotions, of course, just like any human being, but I don't take anything as a direct hit. I don't look at things and say, I don't look at things and say, oh, see, this means it's not working. Oh, this means I must not have manifested hard enough. No, everything is here to benefit me. I am God, I am the epicenter of my experience and what I say goes. So all you're doing is deciding. All you're doing is defaulting to a new truth. It's like changing a pair of shoes. You're just deciding to put a different pair of shoes on and that's really all that it is at the end of the day. That's really it. So you're deciding I'm going to change to a new default. My new defaulted belief is that everything is here to serve me. And that will cut down on a lot of legwork for you. It will cut down on a lot of stress for you. Because a lot of times, y'all, what's going on is you're waiting for something outside of you. And if you're waiting for something outside of you, you have the arithmetic of it wrong. Because it starts with you. It ends with you. You are the beginning. You are the middle. And you are the end. 
So if you want to see an actual change, you can't go out here and say, change, change for me, be different for me. It starts within. And when you change an extremely core foundational belief and you decide that your core foundational belief is everything serves me, everything will because it doesn't have a choice because life isn't happening to you it's happening through you okay dylan james <laughs> okay roll rap <laughs> and the church said amen amen and no seriously genuinely i cannot tell y'all how i don't i don't worry you guys i don't worry i don't ponder i don't wonder i don't go back and forth when I have decided that something is the way that I want it to be, it is, it is. I'm not waiting, I'm not looking, I'm not searching. Everything in this experience is here to serve me. And one of my favorite things to say, I have been saying this a lot more recently, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you might remember, every single thing that I experience propels me forward. Everything in this experience is on my team. How could it not be? It's all just me. It is all just me. It's not even me versus me. It is just me cheering and rallying myself on through external forces because I'm reflecting back to myself through everything, okay? So stop trying to control the 3D so much. Stop trying to run yourself amok and decide everything is serving you because it is. Please trust me, please hear me when I say everything is here to serve you. Everything is here to benefit you. And if you're watching this video, honestly, take it as a sincere concrete sign. If you can't get yourself to believe that that's the truth, the fact that you're here watching this channel, watching this video, I'm gonna go ahead and decide that that means it is true for you, okay? I love you so much, you guys. Don't forget to follow me on all of my socials. Here's all of my socials. I have like a million and one. I just made a LOA TikTok, so follow me because I need to start posting there more consistently. Don't worry, it's gonna happen either way. But until next time, you know that I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. I love you.